Hi, I'm Susie, and remember I recently just did a video with Old Fashioned Flowers inlaid with acrylic? Well, I'm gonna do the same thing today, but I'm gonna inlay it in gel. It's the same look, but a completely different technique. Let's get started. So I prepared all my nails, but I've left one for us to do this demo. It's pretty involved, so I didn't want to waste your time with polish and things that I've already done before. So I'm going to grab my form. Now these are developed for gel in particular, and it's see-through to help cut down on um, it getting hot and stuff. Now I have prepped this nail and I've primed it. And I use these two items to get going. This is the primer and the prep. You put the prep on first and then you put the primer on. So I've already done that and this nail is ready to go. So I'm going to form it and forming, again, I could do a video with about forming and I will, that's coming, uh, about forming itself. It's a very involved technique and when you do it wrong, even slightly, it can make a big difference. So I'm forming this guy. Okay. Now this is my gel that I'm using. This is Ugly Duckling. And it's a this one's a beautiful pink. I love this packaging. It's also shiny. So I'm going to use this pink as my base. It's, it's going to be able to hold the design. You're going to see. Here's a brush that I'm using. Ugly Duckling. Again, packaging is just adorable. Okay, this is a new brush, so I'm going to just kind of condition the brush a little bit in my product. I'm going to sort of just kind of work it in my brush because it's a brand new brush. Kind of get the brush a little bit supple and a little bit more flexible so we can work with it. Okay, so what I'm creating is a foundation, a platform, so all my old fashioned flowers can sit on top of. And I've picked this beautiful pink because, well, it's beautiful. Now gel is self-loving. See that kind of stringiness that I'm getting here? You can see once that breaks off, it'll come up to it, which is just done right there. So when you put gel on, it's very sticky and it can be very awkward to work with, especially if you're used to acrylic. But wherever it touches, it sticks down. So some of the method is, it's almost as if you're like icing a cake. When I go near the cuticle, I actually do it in like circles. And then I kind of use a bit of an icing the cake method as I come out. With gel, you just kind of want to get it in there. It's like filling it in and it just kind of flows with you. I don't want much of an arch in this. Actually, I don't want any of an arch at all. I get this one side. But I do want it to be quite flat. As you can see, this is a long coffin. I'm going to match the other nails. You can see they're all coffins. And they're on the long side. So I'm going to stretch this out, make it nice and long. That is a really pretty pink. You see this is getting quite smooth. That's the self-leveling taking effect. I don't want it bumpy because I want to lay my flowers in on it. I'm going to just take off some of this and just make sure that this is all product in there. Take it up nice and long. I'm just getting my foundation right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to let it self-level for a sec. And then I'm going to move my gel out of the way. I think I'll cap my, put the lid on it just in case I don't nuke it. And then I'm going to put this in here. It's 30 seconds in an LED and 90 seconds in a UV lamp. Okay, see this bump in here, that's my nail. So then you can see how it drops. That's because I want the design, the flowers to go in there. So you can see I've picked the nail polish color. I was doing this in kind of red and orange tones with a little bit of yellow. So I am absolutely in love with this color. So I'm gonna definitely have one of them, one of the flowers is gonna be this one. And I have to have a yellow, don't you think? Yellow. Maybe that's a bit bright. I'm going to go for the more of a muted yellow. 
These are gorgeous. These red ones here, see those? I've got to grab one of those. I don't know if my nail's big enough, but I'm gonna try to get them all on here. And here's one it has sort of lighter and darker areas. I kind of like that. Now this is a sticky layer of gel on there already, but I'm already cured it. I almost said nuke. So I'm gonna get a layer of gel, the clear gel, and so it's a fresh layer of sticky gel ready for my flowers. I'm just gonna wipe this on, not in any type of thickness whatsoever. I'm just putting this down as a sticky layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up, with my brush is still a bit sticky, and I'm gonna lay in these gorgeous flowers. I'm gonna add this yellow in here because I really want that pop of color. A little bit more stubborn to lay down than in the acrylic. With the liquid, I can make it a little bit heavy and it will stay down, but it's got an aptitude. Got to have this red one, so I'm gonna get him in there now. I don't know if I'm gonna have room for my all the ones that I want. Hmm? I did want to show you something else too. All right, I'm gonna put this one down here. The reason why I hesitate is because when you put your clear on top, you don't want it to be too thick. And if you file it down too much, you could actually file some of your flower off if you don't make the clear on top of it thick enough. Let's try that. Let's see if I can stick it down. Right now my brush is a bit sticky. So if I just use something that doesn't have any gel, this might work better. Let's try something. Let's give it a quick little flash cure. And that is about five, 10, or 15 seconds. It just makes it, you know, a little bit sticky so it'll stick down. So let's try that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, that's a lot of flowers on there, but I love it. So one thing I do want to show you and add a little bit for color is these ones. Aren't they gorgeous? And we don't have room for the red, but let's see if we can get a little bit of orange in there. So all I'm doing with these guys is I'm just cutting a few buds off. I can't, I can't fit too many in there. I'm just cutting off a few of the little teeny, my goodness, I don't even know what kind of flowers these are. So I'm just retrieving some clear gel over here. I'm just gonna paint it on here a little bit where I'm gonna put the, the little bits of flowers. And then I'm just gonna stick them on. I get some yellow ones in there. Oh, look at that. And you can see, if you did watch the acrylic uh, old fashioned flower one, the video, you can see how it is much the same, just a bit different with the product that I'm using. Now, something I'm going to try, these are little beads, like, like some people call them caviar. Now, the only thing with caviar, if you're gonna add some, they're a bead, so they have a bit of height. They're like a round little ball. So you wanna place them in spots that are not near the cuticle because you want it to be quite thin near the cuticle, right? You wanna place it in a part where it's gonna be a little bit thicker as the nail builds out. And that generally is across this area, not so much on the sides either. You don't want it to be too thick in there. So we're gonna take a little bit of clear. And I'm gonna go in and get some of this caviar. It can really look cool. Look at that just adds like um, a dimension to it. it. It's always pretty to add little beads of something. It's almost like my little dots that I like so much. Everything's so sticky. Sometimes to your advantage. I'm gonna put 
put them in the tip here because I, I've got a lot of room I can add some stuff over here. If I put it near the sides, it just might get filed off. By the time I clear cap it, by the time I file it down to make it as thin as I want, I might file them right out by mistake, so I don't want to do that. I have done that. Okay. I think that's looking pretty full. So I'm just going to give this a nuke here. Just for a few seconds. Move on my gel things. Oop, this would help. Put the lid on the gel. And I'm going to actually cure that. We're about 30 seconds in an LED, which is what I'm using here. I want to just nuke it a little bit because what I've done is I put the flowers and the beads in there and I want them to stay put before I put the final clear capping coat on. Okay. So with that, I'm going to get my clear. Now this is important because this is your structure and this is your strength. When you're making a design, you have your your base layer, your design, and then you have your capping coat. These two first layers should be rather thin and this capping coat should be your thickest because that is your structure. So we want to get a big bead and you can see that stringy. It's kind of pretty, especially at the clear, isn't it? And when it starts to break off, then it's going to self-level and the string goes right up to it. So then I'm going to lay this clear capping. I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to Lay it across because it'll start to just release and then spread down. You can see it'll start to flatten. And I'm going to make sure that it is everywhere. And right now I'm just encasing this whole design that I've done. I'm encasing it in this beautiful clear coating. It's just like glass. That is one thing I must say that I absolutely love about gel. It is just like glass. It kind of reminds me, do you remember when you were a kid or maybe you even do it now, you go to the rock shop or some old fashioned or antique store and you find those, what are those? I can't remember, no, uh, like an amber inside this kind of clear glass thing. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Actually, fossil nails. <laughs> that's it. Well, there's an idea. <laughs> there's an idea. That's what this is reminds me of. Yeah. What do you call those things? I'm, I'm getting all the words wrong. Oh, it is amber. Is um, it amber? Yeah. You could put flies or mosquitoes in there. There's a thing on my YouTube. I thought somebody was putting scorpions in nails. Oh, yeah. I, I don't somebody know. mentioned that in the comments, I think. I don't know. No, that's, that's not nice. I don't think I want to go there. I hope they died of natural causes. Well, I should hope. One thing, no animals were injured in the filming of this video. <laughs> not in our videos. No. Okay, that looks like a mess, but it's settling. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful and clear just love that i must say that's one thing i really do love about gel it is incredibly clear i'll try to show you sideways see that see that nice arch do you see that cameraman yeah that's beautiful but if i leave it too much that way sometimes because it's self-leveling it'll fall over so i want to make sure that i'm not putting it on that one side too long okay i think i've engulfed everybody i'm just going to check down the barrel yep so just going to move my gel over and i'm going to nuke this for 90 seconds to give it a full 90 second cure. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my form off. And the best way I find to take the forms off is to kind of take the sides off here, these little wings, and then pinch it and then pull down and then just release it. Look at that mess, <laughs> not for long. I'm gonna file it. So I'm gonna put the caps on these and I'm gonna start filing this. I'm trying to track down some more of these old fashioned flowers. This comes from my collection I bought literally like 15 years ago. I've had to really look around where I can get them. And I am tracking them down. Got a few surprises coming. So I do have to remove, this is sticky, right? So I have to remove that sticky layer. All you need is a little bit of alcohol. Just get it on a little pad. And anything else you found that was sticking, like on another finger or something, you can just wipe it off with alcohol. Now my brush, I will have it in there as well. If you don't have a cap, 
to put your brush right inside, you're gonna to wanna to clean that and get the gel out of it because if any natural light comes from a window or any source, it will cure it right in there and then ruin your brush. That's always so very disappointing. Okay, now I'm just gonna file. Now gel is quite a bit um, softer than acrylic. So it's quite easy to file. One thing is though, if you're doing a lot of them, do wear a mask because this uh, has a very, very fine dust gel. I'm gonna grab a coarse file and I always start with my sides first. I determine my side and then I determine, I don't want that spike on there, then I determine my, how long I want them. See how quick it files down? That's how fast gel files. Gel's quite a bit softer, so it files down quite a bit quicker than acrylic does. I just want to say one thing. When you're filing um, acrylic or any enhancements or gel or anything like that, filing back and forth like this, no big deal. That's only important not to do that on a natural nail. You wouldn't want to go like crazy like this on a natural nail. Or when you're filing the length, you don't want to do this on a natural nail. But an acrylic or a gel, no big deal. Okay, now I'm gonna start filing and shaping the whole nail. And again, I could do a whole course in just shaping alone, but I'll leave that for another video or a few, and I'll just get filing on these. And then I'll show you how to finish it. So I filed it all up and I completely finished filing it. And then I'm just gonna remove any of the dust, a little bit of alcohol. Look at that. You can also use your gel if you don't have any top coat around. Take your brush, and just paint a thin layer on, let it self-level for a second, and then put it into your machine and nuke it. And it does the same effect as this. But what's lovely is Ugly Duckling and many other lines have developed it where they can put it in a bottle so much easier to apply that way. You still gotta do it thin, but when you do, watch this. It literally comes to life. Look at that. It's like glass. And you wanna put it in your UV light I think this top coat in particular is 60 seconds. So now I'm gonna put some cuticle oil on it, probably on all of them. Okay, look at that. Let me oil the cuticles up and let's check out those reveals. I don't know if you can see this cameraman, but you see those little tiny beads, caviar, whatever you wanna call them. They're just placed over top of the flowers. That looks really cool. I really do like that and the colors are so fall. Well, thanks for joining me. And those of you who don't know, I do have other videos too. I have about 90 now, don't we, Caravan? It's over 90. Yeah. yeah, we have lots. And there's lots more to come. I'm looking so forward to it. We'll see you soon.